Ooh, that's some backlighting, eh? Um, so, it's, uh, 7.57 on, what's today, um, July 15th, uh, in a couple minutes here, I'm gonna walk over to the store and buy a bottle of water, and then I'm gonna take off on my first, uh, day of walking to get ready for my crazy trip coming up here and I'm gonna be uh, walking to Arcata from Eureka it's a uh, it's about eight miles um, 7.80 so I'm hoping that it'll take uh, about three three hours maybe three and a half a little over there hopefully uh, I want to be able to start off with at least a time of uh, three miles per hour at least that's like on Wikipedia average walking speed um, distance running and all of that will hopefully eventually work in my favor all that stuff that I did at one point and things will work out for me here but yeah so when I get back I'll uh, let you know how it went Peace and love. This is Dylan. For, uh... <laughs> Let me get really official. So, um... Peace and love from Dylan Reed Wyant for the Can I Say One Thing tour. Howdy, folks. So... Day one, walking is complete. Um, it went pretty well. Started off uh, to go, like, you could either go on the highway, there's a safety corridor, which would have sucked, or you can go over, like, this more scenic route, kind of going along the coast. So I went that way, along the coast, but... <clears throat> and you end up going through this city called Manila. It's got this, like, one of the coolest beaches, actually, in Humboldt County. I think if you ever have a chance, um... It's a really small little town, like, no real stores or anything, like, I don't think you can go, like, there's even, I don't even think there's a market there, but just houses and, like, a community center, but at the community center, like, there's dunes, sand dunes, and just gorgeous. It's definitely one of the coolest beaches you can go to, I think, up here, but at the same time, <clears throat> it's pretty secluded, and there's not very many people that go out, um... Manila is kind of considered like kind of a seedier place, I guess, because like I guess there's a lot of meth going on out there. But I mean, it's Humboldt County. There's a lot of meth going on everywhere. And with that said, I mean it's the U.S. and the world. Meth is a problem. <laughs> so, but whatever. I've never been bothered out there, and it's gorgeous. Anyway, I went out that way. But to go out there, you have to go over these three bridges. One. I'm a little bit more than a little afraid of heights, and so going over those bridges was kind of tense, but also, like, you've only got, like, two, three, okay, more than two, but, like, probably about three, three feet or so of a gap on the side of the road for you to walk on these bridges, so, like, when there's, like, this big logging truck with just, like, huge redwood trunks on it and stuff and it just flies by you i almost lost my hat a couple times which would have been weak because i am a hat person and it would be sad to lose a hat to a semi uh be pretty bitter and yeah so that was kind of crazy but i got over that and after that it was fine it was really nice uh, i took a little break in the middle next to some cows and uh tried to talk them into revolution they were quiet and didn't have much to say on the matter, so I kept going. <clears throat> took uh, took about three and a half hours to actually get all the way to Arcata to do the 7.8 miles. I think it was actually a little longer than that, the route that I took, because I didn't do the highway, which I think is a, more of a straight shot just to Arcata. So I think I might have actually gotten the 8 that I was hoping for, which is good, because that's like basically almost half of... Like, that's half of my walking day, basically, will be those 
first four hours, I mean, I'm only going to be able to walk for like eight, nine hours a day. But <clears throat> I covered the distance that I wanted to, so that was cool. And I think that I'll get better next week. I want to, by next week, I want to be able to do two and back, to and from. So go out and then come back walking and then week after that start with the backpack and everything and try and do the weight but yeah I mean my legs definitely felt it I'm tired but I'm not in the worst shape I could be in it seems I'm not going to be completely out of commission um, I wore my moccasins on this trip I think that they'll be a great alternative thing to have on the trip when the end of the day comes and for chilling out but as far as far as the walking goes I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want something with um, more cushion in the sole there so that's definitely something to think about cuz yeah my ankle is pretty sore but shouldn't be too bad and yeah I'm pretty happy I had a fun little time so cool day one complete have a good time folks thanks